Ana. Happy Saturday. Being away last weekend in Sydney and vlogging the whole trip, like, I don't know if y'all have seen that vlog, but I really just like pushed the boat out on vlogging in public. And it really just reignited my love for vlogging and then editing it was so much fun. And I was like, you know what, let's vlog this weekend because the ball is rolling. So let's keep it that way. It is Saturday. It is like 7.30 in the morning. You might be able to hear my fake fireplace crackling in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna do my little Devo time and then I'm hoping to squeeze a workout in this morning because with my new job I haven't done a morning workout in like four weeks which is like unheard of for me so I'm hoping I can squeeze in like a little something before I have to go out because at 9 30 I have to leave to go and have brunch with a friend of mine who I haven't seen in like a year and I'm so excited. I've really just admitted my defeat that my new camera, my other camera, is a little bit too large to take out in public, which is okay. It just means that we get the G7X a little more often, which honestly I'm not mad about. This camera has a very special place in my heart, if you couldn't already tell. I'm on my way. I am running late. I tried to just squeeze a little bit too much into my morning this morning. I'm only going to be seven minutes late, so it's not, it's not terrible, but it's also not great either. Anyway, let's go see Chesky. <laughs> We've actually already had our little breakfast, but Chesky's just showed me that her neighbor crashed into her. Double neighbor crash. Double neighbor crash. She's like, oh, Chesky won't mind the camera being in her face because yeah. she's used to it. Hey, yes. Hey, good. How long has it been? Um, back to 2018. 2018. Wait, that's six years ago. Yeah. We were making, um, making making banana bread and dancing to, uh, what was that song? Personal. Personal. Every time that song comes on, I'm like, Emma, I'm yeah. just at you. And dancing to dancing queen. Dancing dancing queen, teaching you the moves from my like, year eight. We found had our annual catch up and it was great. Even though we got kicked off the table again. Again, we got kicked off the table last time we went out for food as well together because <laughs> we like, oh, talked for too long. Know. Yeah. Well yeah. Mm. It's like what happens? Like, but hey, that's what happens when it has it's been a been a year. We got lots to catch up on. Yes. I hate to be that person that talks about the weather, but the weather is so stunning today. So beautiful. Eight days into winter and it's 18 degrees. 18 degrees that's like a summer's day yes i was just listening to my summer playlist but i have a couple of errands to run mum has entrusted me with a very special task i'm about to go into the two dollar shop and make some purchases so my parents are off to fiji i don't even know when soon and whenever we go to fiji we always take a suitcase full of clothes stuff for the kids and stuff to take into the village most of the time we go to the toilet shop and we just sort of stock up on like random like crayons pencils coloring in books stickers skipping ropes games like all sorts to take over for them to play with so i have the job of going in and buying the stuff for the kids i'm so excited let's go and see what we can find oh, wait is it oh there's so many that's fun some gel pens absolutely oh my gosh blow pens this is like a trip down memory lane are you kidding me jumbo coloring book oh, that's kind of cute let's get one of those some pencils get like a big pencil case to put it all in oh my gosh that was so successful i got this big pencil case because everything fit inside it so that can it can go to the kids in the little pencil case this is probably not the haul you're expecting in this video but you're getting it anyway some colored paper oh my gosh i got one of these things if you know you know some rainbow scratch paper a jumbo coloring book coloring in pencils a whole massive thing of felt pens a couple of skipping ropes some blow pens and a few gel pens quite the haul i'm so sad i'm not going to be there because normally when we like if i go we give it to the kids and then we hang out with them and then we get to play with them but i i won't be there i've just pulled up you can probably tell by this kind of gives it away i'm at pack and save let's go and get some kai and it looks like every man and his dog has decided to come and do their supermarket shopping today because the car park is full i have cracked the code and figured out why every single person decided that they would go to the supermarket today because everyone's lined up at the lotto counter lotto is like 50 million dollars tonight so apparently everyone thinks they're gonna win i'm not because i'm not buying a ticket <laughs> but i was thinking i was like if i did win 50 million dollars like what would i actually do it's always fun to dream about those sorts of things not that i'd ever win because i don't think i'll ever buy a ticket <laughs> but shopping's done ready for a moi <laughs> oh. 
I don't even know where to start. Back in February, I did a massive wardrobe clean out, like huge. Like you might remember, I used to have a chest of drawers over here. Basically got rid of so many clothes that there's no longer a chest of drawers in this corner. But what did I do with all the clothes? Well, <laughs> I put them all into a big, it wasn't even a rubbish stack. It's like a wheelie bin liner. It's a very big bag, which happens to be right here. How convenient. That is because after four months, I had not done anything about any of these clothes, except have them sit in the sack in the floor of my office yeah for the past four months and it's like it's a it's very big i need to do something about it <laughs> two things i have planned to do with it firstly i want to go through and see if there's anything that my parents can take to fiji secondly i have applied for a stall don't know if i'm going to get one yet at the isla market which is in st Helier's in like two weeks time i need to sort through everything because it's going to need washing as well hopefully by the time this vlog comes out i'll know if i'm actually going to be at the market so if you want to come to the market and say hi and buy some of my clothes be my guest anyway i guess i'll just start by Taking it all out of the bag. So embarrassing. So much more in here than I thought there was. Okay. Now time to sort through what the heck is going on here. I'm so embarrassed. Who? How? What? what? My fashion is evolving at a very rapid pace at the moment. I feel like being 22, I just... Modesty is my top priority at the moment, put it that way. And um, it definitely wasn't a top priority for Emma that was uh, 21 and below. Put some music on for me to listen to, which means I'm also going to put some music on for you to listen to. So enjoy this no copyright soundtrack. You're welcome. <laughs> It was an effort. There's a lot of stuff here. This is everything that um, hopefully is going to be at the Isla Market in a couple of weeks' time. If you like the look of anything that you're seeing, you need to be there. I just sat on the floor, I was checking my emails, and saw that I have one from Isla Market, and they've offered me a stall. So, looks like I will be there on the 22nd of June. It is from 9am to 12pm at the Tamaki X Service Association Hall in St. Helier's. Yeah, so if you want to come and buy anything that I just showed you guys, be my guest. It costs $5 to get in, and I think you have to pay cash. So just bear that in mind. If you want to know more about it, follow me on Instagram, because I'll probably post that on there as well, or like share on my story. Close to the time, just so that people know what's going on. I'm excited, I'm excited to get these clothes out of my office floor. I have had an outfit change. I am in sweatpants and a hoodie, because I'm going over to Tejal's house. She has invited us over for pizza and a movie. Just Tejal and Danny and I. She said we could come anytime from five, and it's, oh, it's only 4.30. I'm getting a little bit too enthusiastic here. I just got to Tejal's, and truth is, I have been to her house many times to pick her up, but I've never been inside. I don't even know where her front door is. So, I'm just gonna text her and ask. Hi, where's your front door? Lol. This is so humble. <laughs> found her. Hi. Hey, found the front door. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Yes! Bon appetit. Carried these through centre place. Everyone was looking at me when I was, I was like, I'm just carrying a dozen donuts. Why are we staring at me? In a Christmas What's box in June. How's Camp Rock? It's like I didn't put the music over it because I'll get copyrighted. Tejal, how was Camp Rock? It was too cool. <laughs> it's happy Sunday. I have just got changed into my church outfit of the day. My skin has not been great and I haven't addressed it in this vlog, but you're probably like, well, what is up with this girl's skin? That's a really good question. I'd love to know the answer to. But yes, I do have psoriasis and we're thinking that like I've been having trouble with my skin on my face for like, well, three years now, really like intensely, but more intensely probably since like October last year. And it's been on and off and I've been on and off different medications and different creams and stuff. But I think we might have found the cause because I, today is actually my injection day. I inject myself once a month for my psoriasis but a side effect of that i think is what's been going on with my face particularly around my lips which is not great but anyway my skin's looking so much better today and i think by wearing green i think the green kind of cancels out the redness on my face which is really nice i feel like this camera line blows my skin so it probably doesn't look as bad as it actually is i need to go downstairs and watch some quality have some breakfast i need to be out of the house in 15 minutes so i need to make some moves Hello, I'm home from church. I was actually gonna go, I went to the 9am service this morning. I was gonna go to the 11am so I could like have a bit of a sleep in and watch quality. But then I sent a message in our group chat last night. I was like, what service is everyone going to? And everyone's like, 9am. And I was like, 
Sounds like I'm going to the 9am too. Then I went to Kmart on the way home and I was kind of vlogging there. I actually had my camera in my bag and I was like, I'll vlog in Kmart. And I just completely forgot. Anyway, it wasn't little tags to mark up my clothes in the cell and a whole bunch of safety pins to pin the price tags onto them. I'm so tired. Like the weather's giving like curl up on the couch and read a book with a cup of tea. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> it is quarter to 12 and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna have some fruit actually. Cause I'm trying to like when I'm hungry for something sweet to eat fruit instead of eating chocolate. Dairy is not good for my skin. So God has given me a spirit of self control. So I need to start exercising it a little bit. <laughs> We're in the kitchen and I'm doing a bit of meal prep for the week ahead. I watched my previous video that was, I think was another weekend vlog, like maybe two videos ago where I was meal prepping my halloumi salad. Well, guess what we're having for lunch this week? Halloumi salad. I am cooking some parmesan like seed crackers. Kind of looks like bird feed squashed down and put in the oven, but I promise you it tastes great. Cooking some like crouton-y type things over here for the salad. And I'm thinking I'm gonna make some cookies. The other day I had a mystery package arrive and I was slightly concerned because I've kind of put myself in a spending ban after going to Sydney because I that was it got out of hand. I saw a package arrive and I was like, no way, like what have I what have I bought? Like that's so bad that I can't remember what I bought. Opened it. No, I hadn't bought anything. Whitakers so kindly sent me a couple of blocks of their new mm, macadamia block. Which I didn't realise. This has been off shelves for 10 years. I didn't realise it had been that long. And we were literally talking about it at work, like how they're bringing it back. And then that same day was when this arrived. So I, I ended up taking it into the office, one block into the office the next day and everyone devoured it. This is the second block, which we've only like just opened. But I'm thinking I might turn like half of it into some chocolate like macadamia cookies. That's my baking situation. But it's not even one o'clock yet. We won the morning and now we're winning the day. So Morgan and Rachel just FaceTime me and I was just busy talking to them on FaceTime. And I hung up the call and I was like, hmm, something smells like it's burning. Yep, yeah, my little croutons. Burnt. Not all of them are, just the ones that were like at the bottom of the pan. Since they're pitta breads, that part's burnt, but this part's fine, so I just. <coughs> oh, dang it. Live, love, laugh. Lunch is prepped, crackers are made, cookies are currently in the oven. Yum! That looks so good. Dinner time! We might be out of here. I'm gonna try and talk loudly because I'm watching. Okay, watching is a stretch. There is a YouTube video playing on the TV right now, which is a like cabin, like fireplace, wintry, cozy vibes, and it's got jazz music playing as well. It is dinner time, and I have some chicken and bacon cooking right now, and I've got my little Caesar salad happening here, I just need to mix it up. I bought cherry tomatoes at the supermarket, and I've put them in my salad for my lunch for the week, but I probably want some cherry tomatoes in my dinner, so I'm just gonna like retrieve some out of here. They're gonna have a bit of quinoa on them, but like it's not the end of the world, but probably some of them in here. <laughs> Finished product. Absolutely stunning. And then I have leftover salad and leftover chicken and bacon that I'm gonna to put together for my dinner tomorrow night so that I don't have to actually really cook anything, which is gonna be stunning. I'm gonna go eat this and sit in front of my, see that's the fireplace I was talking about. Look how cozy that is. Doesn't that make you feel like you're literally in the middle of like the forest? I've been reading a book that has like, like it's set in a place that in my head looked just like that. So I'm feeling very just, cozy right now. <laughs> I've been putting it off all day, but it is time to do my injection. I'm not gonna show you the injection because I know some people, they don't like needles and you know what? Neither do I. My motivation to do this is I told myself after I've done it, I can have cake and a cup of tea. Really just going at it with the extrinsic motivation because there is absolutely no internal motivation to get this done. <laughs> I'm gonna do it while listening to my jazz music and <laughs> watching the fireplace. I need to not laugh because I've laughed last time because it hurts so bad, so I need to pull it together. It wasn't terrible. I wouldn't say that it's the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. I'm gonna do two, one on each leg. That one didn't hurt at all. Thank you, Jesus. Time for cake and a cup of tea. <laughs> Jazz music gets copyrighted. It's gonna be the biggest faux pas ever. But this is my big piece of cake. It's actually from my birthday, which was over two months ago. But it's been in the freezer and it was taking up a lot of space in the freezer. So it's not in the freezer and it needs to be eaten. So, what I'm scared, I guess. 
It is quarter to nine and I'm off to bed. Thanks for coming with me on this weekend, guys. I feel like this has been really big FaceTime vibe. So thanks for joining me on this very long FaceTime call. Long as in two days, but also short as in this probably, this video is probably gonna be like 15 minutes long, I'm gonna say. I have no idea when this video is gonna be posted because my posting schedule is way out of whack at the moment, but I hope you're having a great day or are gonna have a great day or having a great week or are gonna have a great week. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>